Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Uh, last episode, we completed the swab the deck, the feed the chickens, and the egg hunt uh, advancements. Uh, that was where we took uh, some DNA from some mobs in our world. Uh, we turned that DNA into some chicken feed. We then fed that chicken feed to some chickens, which exploded and left us some uh, uh, spawn eggs of the particular mobs that we used the swab from. Uh, this episode, because we are so close to finishing the Age of Farming advancement, uh, we are going to go and we're going to do the condensed milk, which is to get a cow in a jar. Uh, we're going to do the nothing really Maddox, which is to create a tinker's construct Maddox uh, to help with our farming. And then last but not least, we're going to do the stay hydrated, uh, which is to make a hydrogel, uh, which will take the place of water uh, in the middle of our farm. So uh, to start, we are first going to do the cow in a jar. And this is another one of those fun little advancements. Uh, so you're going to need three things. Uh, we are first going to need a cow. Uh, we are then going to need an anvil. Now, an anvil is just uh, simply uh, three blocks of iron and four pieces of iron ingot. Uh, and we're going to need a, a milk jar. Now, a milk jar is a piece of wood plank, a seven pieces of glass, and a, a bucket full of milk. So there we go. We have got the milk jar. We've got the anvil. What we're going to do is we're going to take the milk jar. We're going to go and place it in our world. Uh, we're going to go take the cow, pick him up, and then drop him into the space just on top of the jar and now we're going to go and place that anvil on top and there we go we now have ourselves a cow in a jar so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go and break that fence and we can break that jar and what happens is there you go we got the advancement condensed milk uh let's actually just go make a, a little bit of space now if we go and place this in our world that cow in that jar is going to continuously uh fill it full of milk you can see uh the milk stored up at the top uh is up to almost 100 uh i'm gonna say millibuckets uh worth of milk so this jar will hold eight buckets of milk and uh you can you know, sort of bring it around with you you don't have to worry about having a cow you know handy to you know running back and forth uh getting your uh bucket so uh that is good that is one advancement down uh, next up is the Maddox, the Tinker's Construct Maddox. We've done Tinker's Construct a bunch of times, so I'm not going to focus on it too, too heavily. Uh, but to start, we're going to need three pieces. We're first going to need a regular tool rod pattern. Now, I've already got one of these in the world, so I'm not going to create one of them. Uh, but we are also going to need a shovel head pattern. So we're going to take that out. And we're going to need a axe head pattern. So we're going to take that one as well. Actually, what we're going to do, let's just throw those into our pattern chest, because what we can is we can move over to our parts crafter you can see i've already got that tool rod pattern ready to go so we're going to go and make one of those i'm going to flip over to the axe head there is our wooden axe head and then last but not least we're going to do the wooden shovel head uh, which is absolutely perfect so uh, I could take these wooden pieces. I can go and, you know, make ourselves a wooden Maddox. Uh, and, you know, it would be functional enough for the uh, advancement. But uh, there are a couple of different things, um, you know, different materials we can make Tinker's Construct stuff out of. So what I thought was I was going to keep the axe head as a uh, wood because that's going to give us the ecological advancement, which means our tool will repair over time. Uh, so let's quickly make a cast of that tool rod and a cast of the shovel and uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go and make these out of copper now uh, really really quickly actually let's go get our casts first and tell you what, let's go throw a little bit of copper up there. We're going to leave that one down. And I've got that materials and you uh, book handy. Uh, so let's go and uh, we're going to go all the way back through here. And if we look at copper... Uh, it's well established, which means we gain additional XP. Uh, there's not a whole lot else that uh, Maddox, you know, is going to really get us uh, in the world. It's not a combat weapon. I mean, I, you could use it as one, uh, but there are a lot better ones out there. Uh, so quickly, let's make that uh, copper, uh, that was the shovel head. And let's go and get the tool rod ready. And there we go. And we'll go get that tool rod. You, you can make this out of a lot of different things. I kind of looked through the book and the copper seemed to make the most sense. So we're going to go flick 
flip to the uh, Madoc in the Tool Forge. We're going to take the copper tool rod, the wooden axe head, and the copper shovel. As you can see, it is well established and ecological. And we've got a copper or wood copper Madoc. And there you go. Nothing really Madocs. That is our advancement. Now, last but not least is going to be that hydrogel block. Uh, this is a very simple recipe. It is four pieces of slime, four iron bars, and a water bucket. So you can see we have completed the challenge. Uh, you win. Uh, we're going to go jump back into our advancement book. You can see we've got our age of uh, farming. 29 out of 29 advancements. If we were playing with prestige on, this would be another uh, prestige point. But um, what we're going to do right now is... I'm going to just set this up as a little test. I've never actually used these side by side. So I've got two identical gardens, uh, one with uh, the, the both with dirt and fertile soil uh, in the same amount of quantity. I've got one with water here. Let's go and place this hydrogel block. Now, what we can do is we can take our Maddox and we can kind of go around uh, our farm. Uh, now, you can't, you know, uh, till the uh, fertile soil. That's already kind of pre-tilled, but we are going to need to till up our uh, regular dirt. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and do that. You can see it is hydrating really, really quickly. Uh, we're going to come over here here and let's do this side as well and we can kind of see that it will hydrate you know somewhat similar but not quite as quickly uh, which I th think is going to really increase our uh, growing time I mean there's a lot of other things we can throw out there as well you know things like the uh, sprinkler and speaking of that I should actually take these down um did I pick them up where did they go Oh, no, it would have got picked up by the item thing. That's why. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so let's not worry about that. Um, so as you can see, this ground is almost hydrated. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, fill these full of uh, seeds. And what I'm also going to do is I want to, you know, to make sure this test is as equal as possible, I'm going to go and uh, use the watering cans and uh, basically uh, make sure each everything in here is 100% grown before we turn on the auto harvesters. We're just going to try to get a feel for uh, the difference in a growing ability between the two items. So uh, as soon as I'm done here, uh, I'm going to go use those watering cans and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are back and as you see I have almost got uh, both of these uh, farms uh, set up and that should be it. We should have, one second here, let's turn that off. Yeah, we should have two farms full of wheat, 100%. Um, both of our generators are uh, pretty much full of energy, full of lava. Um, you know, the harvester is set for nine by nine and an area. It is turned off right now. Uh, same thing with this one over here. Uh, it's filled with lava. It is filled with power. It's an empty harvester, uh, nine by nine with the, um, you know, re redstone, uh, you know, turned off. So uh, the only thing different between these two farms is going to be that uh, block of water versus the hydro gel. And what we can do is let's go throw these guys back up here because I don't want to be accidentally turning them on and off all the time. And what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to turn both of these on and then let's actually make ourselves a, a little bit of a pillar. Uh, so we kind of watch this, uh, do it as a little bit of a speed run. Um, I am not sure uh, how long I'm going to leave it. Uh, probably five or 10 minutes, uh, depending on how quickly things go. If it's noticeably different uh, right away, we won't go quite as long. Uh, but if it doesn't look like it's a, you know, that different, I mean, we might have to, you know, leave it a little bit longer just to see what's what. I've never done this before. This is sort of my first attempt at doing it as well. So first off, let's start the uh, regular one and we're going to run over here and we're going to start the other one, uh, the hydrogel and we'll just go and Pillar up. Oh, I can't. This is a half slab. Um, there we go. And there you go. You can see it is already taken up uh, the full amount. So everything is growing pretty much from, uh, you know, straight on. And I'm a little off center. So let's try to center ourselves up without falling. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give it about five minutes, uh, five or ten minutes. And then we'll be right back.
Okay, guys, so that was 10 minutes, and I gotta say, it is it was not an exciting 10 minutes. Um, it does look like there might be a little bit of an advantage to the hydrogel, but it... I don't know. Um, okay, so I wasn't watching the whole time. We've got 54, two stacks, almost three stacks of seeds. And then over here, we've got 54... And over three stacks of seeds. So, I mean, again, the, the seeds are totally random. That is not a thing. And, yeah. So, <laughs> um, certainly, certainly it's not a magical growing thing. Oh, one benefit, and it was something I had to do, you know, on this side here. Uh, in the Sky Factory world, at the very least, uh, I just placed that block there. There was no trouble. Uh, this one here, I actually had to go underneath my world, plant a block off to the side, then plant this block here, and then, you know, come up, then place the water. Uh, so there's a little bit more work involved with the water. So the hydrogel is nice because it is solid. Uh, I don't know if it's bouncy or not. We got a block right above there. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to say, like, there is no fully grown block or a piece of wheat up here. Though, I got I think there's more almost there. Like, that's an 85. That's a 57. That's another 57. See, that one's 85 as well. So, uh, maybe all in all, there is not a whole lot of difference to the how to gel. But it was an advancement. We did get all three of those done today. And we did uh, manage to finish off that Age of Farming uh, advancement page. So, uh, next up, we'll be working on uh, some of the other things that are left in our world. But uh, that is it for this one, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page as well as a link to my Patreon page. Uh, if you've been enjoying this channel, if you've been enjoying this series and you want to support, you know, stop by there, check it out. There's a, a lot of good uh, perks for all of my supporters, but uh, that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.